Hi everyone, my name is Zara. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be DIYing this clutch bag. It was really cheap, around 13 pounds I believe from Amazon. I will put a link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. And it came really well packaged. It was in a box in bubble wrap and also had like cellophane protective stuff or whatever you call it on top of the acrylic bag itself. And then inside the bag was also like a long chain which you can attach to these little round D ring things, whatever they're called, inside the bag and you can wear it on your shoulder so that was super cute too if you didn't want to just hold it in your hand. So then I also bought some dried flowers of course as this is what I needed for the DIY. I will also put a link in the description for these flowers as I also bought them from Amazon. So I basically took the bag and put it on this card I had and drew around it so I knew like the area I had to work with to lay the flowers in and then I just took some flowers using my tweezers as the flowers are very delicate because they are dried flowers and they can kind of like break apart easily so just be careful with them and I laid them down and then once I was happy with kind of like the layout of all the flowers I put them into the clutch bag. Now you should notice that on the layer I did on the paper they're like facing up but when I put them in the bag I like flip them over so that they're facing the right way when the bag will be finished so that when you're like looking at it you can kind of see the flowers if that makes any sense so once I had laid all the flowers out into the bag I grabbed my UV resin and poured this all over the flowers uh, you can use epoxy if you want I just prefer using UV as you can cure it with the UV light and also like leave it out in the sun to fully harden it as well it's just like an easier option and it's sort of quicker than epoxy so anyway I put the resin all over it and then I used a heat gun to like get rid of any air bubbles and then before I decided to cure it I also used like some tiny tiny petals from this yellow flower which also came with the dried flower package and I just put this in like some of the gaps just to kind of fill it out a bit and once I was happy with that I put my two UV lamps over it and you can see they're kind of small. They only do it for about a minute at a time. So I think I clipped them on and off around 10 times. So it was around 10 minutes in total. And because the clutch bag is like fully acrylic and see-through, it means that the UV rays can still penetrate that UV thing. So you don't have to sit there and kind of hold it over. I mean, you can if you want, it might be quicker, but yeah, I just kind of did that. So I didn't have to keep holding the bag open as it was getting quite fiddly. And then, yeah, this is how the final bag turned out. What do you think? Do you like it? What would you do differently? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.